So we're now standing inside the Shane 3 meter dome, our biggest telescope, and you can see the telescope behind me. The full telescope is about, uh, let's see, 55 feet long. Uh, the primary mirror sits in this yellow cell, it's sort of eye level, and that primary mirror is 10 feet or 120 inches in diameter, or 3 meters since we went metric. Um, and all the moving parts of the telescope weigh about 145 tons. And it's all supported with this brown U-shaped fork. And that fork can rotate so it moves the telescope in a pure east-west direction. And then in the middle of the telescope, you'll see some big reddish-brown gears. And those allow the telescope to move in a pure north-south motion so that we can point the telescope wherever we want on the sky to do whatever research we want. We have a lot of different instruments. We can put the telescope in various places. We have a prime focus camera that goes at the top of the telescope. Um, and in the original usage of the telescope, that prime focus camera was a person sitting at the top of the telescope with their photographic plates. And so your astronomer would ride the telescope all night long. Today, we have a digital camera that can go up there. We also have cameras that can hang on the bottom of the telescope. The instrument on the telescope right now is called the cast spectrograph. So it takes the light and divides it up into all its component colors, uh, making a rainbow uh, from whatever object they're looking at. And they'll see certain colors of light are um, more prevalent or missing entirely um, due to the absorption or emission of particular elements or molecules that that astronomical object is made of. Um, we have another instrument we can put on the telescope called adaptive optics that allows us to measure the turbulence in the Earth's atmosphere that blurs our images of the sky um, and correct for it in real time with a small little mirror we put at the bottom of the telescope that can change its shape over a thousand times a second to essentially put uh, equal but opposite blurring on the mirror as what we measure in the sky to give us images sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. So there are lots of different ways to use this telescope and a lot of different instruments we can use it. And so that even though the telescope itself is over 50 years old, we could use modern technology to get uh, cutting edge science out of the telescope today.